Welcome to another follow along sculpting session. Um, so what we're going to sculpt today is we're going to sculpt lips. What I like to begin with is a sphere. So we're going to press shift A, shift A to add a sphere to the scene. We're not going to sculpt on the sphere itself. We're going to create a head first or the head shape, and then we're going to add the lips afterwards. Lips are round, basically. So we want to sculpt on a round surface, which we're going to create in the beginning. After we've created the sphere and we've selected it, we're going to go to the sculpting tab. First things first, we need to make this. Um, we're going to press Control R. That just solves some problems with dynamic topology because we're going to use dynamic topology. And then we're going to go to the brush settings down here and we're going to enable Dyn Topo, basically dynamic topology. We're going to click this. There you go. And we're going to set these settings here. We're going to use 20 resolution, refine method, subdivide collapse and detailing constant detail. I use constant detail instead of relative detail because I like to determine what resolution I want to scope with. We have to make sure that symmetry is on. So we're going to go to the settings here again, go into the symmetry tab and enable X symmetry. What we need first is the snake hook brush. So if you scroll down on your taskbar here, you will find the snake hook brush right here. It's this little uh, squiggly line here, the snake hook. We're going to select it. We'll make it quite big, maybe almost as big as the, the sphere itself. And now we're going to go to the sphere. We're going to look at it from the front and we're going to select not in the middle of the sphere, but a little bit more on the side, maybe right here. We're going to hold and we're going to pull it down to create somewhat of a head shape already. Now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate to the side, maybe like 45 degrees. We're then going to select this edge that we've just created. We're going to select it and we're going to pull it to the side. And we already created the chin basically. It's quite wide right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the snake hook quite big and we're just going to push it into the middle. Both here, up top and at the bottom too. A good rule is that the upper part of the head is wider than the lower part. So this part is wider than the this edge here, for example. So it's sort of like a heart shape, something like this. So we already have the jaw. We already have the head. Let's continue. There's one thing. The chin is quite far forward right now. So we're going to use the No, we're going to go to the grab brush, which is this one here to above the snake hook brush. We're going to select it. We're going to move it a little bit back like this. So it's basically on the same line with the rest of the sculpt. There are a few more things that I want to do to prepare the sculpt. Uh, one thing that I want to do is I want to go to the side here of the sculpt. So if you look from the, from the front, it's somewhere over here. I just want to grab, use the grab brush, make it quite big and just move it into the middle a little bit so that when you look from the top, it looks something like this. The widest part of the head is in the back and then it kind of tapers off and gets slimmer as you go into the front. There you go. So the way I create lips, what we need to do is we need to select the snake hook brush and then I basically just add the nose and mouth at the same time. Um, so we're now going to go to one third of the head, maybe a little bit below the middle of the head. We're going to use the snake hook brush, select the middle here, and we're just going to pull it forward so that we create this shape, a small little bump to the front. We can make the edge that is quite, quite curved right here right now, make it straight. There you go. And then we can also, if you want to move this down a little bit, so it looks like this. Let's begin actually working on the lips. So we've created the shape of the lips. Let's now create the lips themselves. Um, what we have here as this bump is basically the nose included as well as the lips. So we need to separate them first. So we're going to grab the crease brush, this brush right here. We're going to use the crease brush. And what we're going to do is we're going to go not in the middle of the sculpt, but a little bit further outwards. We're going to give it some space here in the middle and we're going to apply the crease brush like this to create the nose, basically. And then we're going to go down here and we're going to create a horizontal line too, like this. There you go. If you want, you can add some more here to just kind of taper it off if you want. So now we already have the distinction between the nose and the lips. Now let's go to the lips themselves. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create an, I guess, an eye shape or an almond shape. What that means is we're going to create a um, shape that looks somewhat like this. So we have like a curve right here, then an edge here, and then a curve down there, basically. And that is the lip shape that I want to go for. 
you can see it's quite far forward right now. So what we want to do now is we want to use the smooth brush, which we can find here. This is the smooth brush. Or you can also just hold shift while having any other brush selected. And then you just kind of smooth everything a little bit. There you go. Just smooth it a little bit to bring it a little bit further back. So it looks something like this. There you go. The next thing that I want to do is I want to draw out the lip shape, basically. Of course, the lips don't start where the nose ends. The There is a small distance between the lips and the nose. So we're going to use the crease brush again. And we're going to begin here at the top. We're going to leave some distance between the nose and the lips. We're going to begin somewhere over here. And we're going to hold control. We can maybe even make it a little bit stronger, maybe like 0.5. We're going to draw a line from here to the corner of the corner of the shape, basically. So we're going to draw it like this in this curved shape. There you go. That's the upper part of the, the upper, I guess, edge of the lip. We're going to do the same at the bottom. We're going to go actually to the end of this shape here. And we're going to create this edge and go to the corner right here, too. So now we've created the shape of the lips. Now it is time to refine the shape a little bit. There you go. Let's um, go into the middle and create, I guess, the um, separation between the upper lip and the lower lip. So what we can do is we can just create a horizontal line going from one edge to the other. I mean, from one corner to the other. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Looks kind of weird right now, but that's okay. So now that we have the basic shape, or we, we've drawn out all the edges, let's adjust the position a little bit. We're going to switch from the crease brush to the grab brush again. We're going to go to the side view and we're going to move the corner here a little bit further back. Maybe just a little bit, maybe over there. I also want to move the lips a little bit further back. So I'm going to select them and move them back a very, very tiny bit. We can maybe move the corner a little bit further back, actually, just like that. Right now it looks very weird because we have no chin, but we're going to switch from the grab brush to the clay strips brush. We're going to use it anyway afterwards. So we're going to use the clay strips brush up here. We're going to begin right here in the middle and draw outwards. And we're going to add more volume at the bottom than at the top here. So we're going to just do this, go into the middle here and add more volume here at the bottom than right here. Something like this. There you go. So it looks like this from the side, like this from the front. If you want, you can then smooth this, or you can also just kind of let it taper off by adding a little bit more volume here to the side, or you can just hold shift to smooth it. There you go. So now we have the chin. Now we're going to go and refine the lip shape. What we want to do is we're going to, I guess, stay on the clay strip brush. And we're going to hold shift so that we can smooth this part of the lip, the upper lip, like this. And we're going to smooth the lower lip too, so that they're nice and smooth. What we then need to do is we're going to hold control. We're going to remove this part of the, I guess, edge right here. So what I want to do is I want to just hold control and then remove this part here. There you go very, very lightly so that it basically merges into the surface here. If you want to, you can smooth it again. There you go. The next part is I want to stay on the lower lips and I want to basically remove this sharp crease right here. So I'm going to keep the clay strips brush and I'm just going to apply it a little bit so that we can sort of smooth it out right here, kind of fill the edge right there build the volume. I don't want to do it in the middle, just here on the side, just very, very lightly like this. There you go. Not too much. If you want, of course, as always, you can smooth it again. There you go. Now we go to the upper lip. For the upper lip, we can do a few things. Um, one fold that is very, I guess, very important for the lips themselves to shape them is the line that goes from the corner of the nose here or from the nostril to the corner of the lip. You can see it right here. This one. Um, this one's very important to shape the lips. So we're going to switch from the clay strips brush to the crease brush. We're going to go to the side of the mouth here, a little bit further away from the corner. And we're just going to draw a line from here upwards to the nose like this. There you go. Once again, you can smooth this edge here and this one too. Perfect. Okay. 
And you can see we already have the sort of round shape of the lips that looks something, something like this. We're almost there. We have to do a few more things here and there, and then we're done. First thing first, oftentimes we have this small little dip here in the middle of the nose or in the middle of the space between the nose and the lips. So we're gonna, while we still have the crease brush enabled or is selected, we're going to go here in the middle and just add a little bit more here, right there, to create the small dip right there. Perfect. Look at that. Okay. If you want to, of course, you can always smooth it. So some people have a qu quite smooth edge up, the, uh, up top here, but oftentimes next to the dip, there's another like, I guess, V that you can see here for the lips. So to adjust, to add that, we're going to switch from the crease brush to the grab brush. We're going to select the middle of the edge right here for the upper lip. And we're just going to move it a little bit down like this. So we have this nice upwards, downwards, upwards, downwards shape. This M shape basically for the lips. If you want to, you can also adjust the sort of lip shape here a little bit, making like a cupid bow shape, for example, by moving this corner here or the middle of the lips in the middle here. Move it a little bit down and then you can move the sides here a little bit up if you want to. And then maybe this part here down a little bit more again. So we get this nice M shape here too in the middle, but that's just, I guess, optional, I guess. So now we get to the important part to give the lips, I guess, their volume. What I want to do first is I want to increase the contrast between the upper lip and the lower lip. So we're going to select the crease brush again, right here. We're going to just, I guess, strengthen this edge here or this, this crease just a little bit. Just go over it again. There you go. We're going to switch to the clay strips brush up here. And then we have to do we have to do five more shapes. The first shape is a bump here in the middle and basically going from the top to the bottom. Just one little bump right here for the lips right there. That's the first one. OK. Just add a little bit more volume or not holding control, just adding it like this. That's the first one. The next one is there too. What we're going to do is we're going to do a sort of S motion on, to the corner. So I'm going to use the clear strip brush and just apply it to make it nice and round like this. There you go. So we filled up the lips at the bottom, at the top. It should look something like this. We can maybe create a smoother transition here to the middle. There you go. So that's what the lips look like. Let's go to the lower lips. For the lower lips, of course, we've already added three elements. Let's add the last two. The last two are basically a continu continuation of this bump right here. So we're going to create, we're going to just add with the crease, with the clay strips brush, we're just going to add more volume here in a nice circular motion like this until it's nice and round. And then if you go to the side, it should look something like this. One more thing though, we want to connect them slightly because the crease here in between them is quite big right now. So we're just going to add a little bit more volume here. So it looks like this. There you go. Oh, well, there's one muscle that I want to add and then we can go to the refine. We can refine it a little bit. The one muscle that I want to add is here at the corner of the lips. This muscle is sometimes more apparent than other times. What, what we want to do is we want to just add a little bit of like a small bump here on the corner, over the corner, basically. So I want to begin here and just draw down until maybe here. Something like this. Not too much, just a little bit. There you go. That's what it looks like. Make a nice transition to the rest of the lips up here. There you go. So now that we have um, everything there that we need, let's go and refine the lips. So we're going to go to dynamic topology, to the dynamic topology settings, and we're going to switch the resolution from 20 to 50. We're going to scroll down until we find the simplified brush underneath the cloth brush. We're going to select it and we're going to make the brush bigger. And we're just basically just drawing over, over the lips like this. We're just going to draw over them like this. There you go to apply 50 resolution basically to everything. There you go. Now we're going to go back and we're going to select the crease brush. We're going to make it very, very big, the cursor. We're going to hold shift and we're going to tab the brush to smooth everything. Look at that. Way more resolution. Perfect. Now we can just refine the lips a little bit more. I want to use the crease brush and dig in here a little bit more. Uh, what we can do is we can go here into the middle. We can refine this more 
this surface again because we've sort of lost the distinction between these shapes. We had three here. We had two, one on, on this side, one on this side, and one in the middle. We can bring that back by just creating two creases here like this. Not too strong, just a little bit like this. There you go. We can also refine this edge, of course. Perfect. For all of these, you can use the smooth push again to just kind of smooth it again. Let's go to the edge of the upper lip. We're going to just hold control and refine the edge here like this. It doesn't need to be that sharp. It can be smoother. I just want to make it a little bit sharper to show you what the shape would look like. There you go. Let's do the same on the lower lip. Just add more volume here. This lip can be quite quite sharp. There you go. And as we go over to the corner here, the lower lip, when it reaches sort of the halfway mark here from the middle to the corner, it basically gets nice and smooth. So we can probably end the sharpening process, I guess, right there. There you go. And then if you want to, we can refine the um, we can refine the little dip here too. There you go. We could refine this edge here if you wanted to. If you don't need to, you can make it smooth too. And then there's one more thing that I want to do. I want to select the clay strips brush again. And I want to add back the um I just want to refine the this the 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 shapes here again. So we're gonna add the small two bumps here, and we're gonna uh, bring back a little bit more volume here on these three pieces here too. So the outer pieces and then also the inner piece like this. You could argue that the uh, crease here is quite sharp or quite deep so we can smooth it again a little bit, make it smoother. Uh, another thing that is somewhat optional is you can also with the crease brush add a line here in the middle like this. There you go. And there you go, you have your lips.